In Miami Virtue and the Ulmer Tapes, Ulmer and the Florida Research Ensemble collect a conglomeration of, quote, raw materials, unquote. Hundreds of photographs, interviews, and videos of Miami's Haitian communities for later investigations by means of Emerge in Agency. Emerge Agency is a lens of inquiry in which the virtual realm is applied to the non-virtual to better understand what subliminally driven cultural repressions drive the relay processes that, in the Miami Virtue case, results in a highly complex human rights issue. Miami Virtue's focus is to understand what the relays are that produce this third product, discrimination towards Haitian immigrants, both by corporations as well as federal governmental departments. Departments such as the Department of Immigration, the Coast Guard, etc. When Ulmer says relay, I immediately think of circuits as well as the butterfly effect or one action acts upon another action ad infinium or not, with the end result being a third position, for example, racism against Haitians in this case. Ulmer seeks to deconstruct BIA electricity, how this web of complexities occurred, and what processes or relays could lead towards resolving the injustice. Ulmer defines electricity as an extension of, quote, poetic and art imaging into a general practice of language used by citizens for quotidian, personal, and specialized thought and expression. As a starting point of processing the photographs and other media collected for this project, Ulmer and the Free Institute use the pop cycle approach. Almer's pop cycle is the foundation of his my story genre and enciphers the identity of an individual or collective by the nature of how four discourses regarding that individual or collective intersect. This intersection is referred to as a crossroads. To better understand Haitian injustice in Miami, he focuses on the Haitian community and explores this community using the pop cycle. The organization of Part 2, Miami, narrative is sliced up in this fashion, as the sections are defined as allegory, family, entertainment, history, and theory. Investigating a community or individual by slicing up parts of set community like a turkey at Thanksgiving might resonate initially as oversimplified. However, each of these discourses are multifaceted. In regards to this project, Ulmer states that, quote, The book is composed as a systematic unpacking or unfolding of one photograph. Crossroads promoted from its anonymous condition of one still among the hundreds taken by Ravel, a passing moment within the hours of videotapes recorded during the drip through the river zone to become a metonym with, think, with categorical power. The book takes a documentary approach. It is argued in a literate way, but draws on the bricolage of image categories by including substantial citations, not only from Ravel's field work, but from theoretical and scholarly sources as well. One purpose of the book being to serve as a resource for the design of other choras in other cities. Miami Virtue stands on its own as a theory and pedagogy but the proof of what it claims requires electric, not literate, means. The family pop cycle discourse consists of natural language, for example, your native language in the literal sense, oral forms like anecdotes, proverbs or jokes, common sense reasoning, and self-evident proof. Almer's claim here is that your interaction with one's family lends one multiple layers of suggested identity such as race, ethnicity, religion, gender, sexuality, class, and nationality. The entertainment discourse operates by means of pop culture, medium forms like ads, sitcoms, news, documentaries, and film, 
mythologic fashion as proof and operates within yourself to show you how to be, quote, normal, unquote. And that normalcy is the preferred method of being and living depending upon whatever your society dictates. Westernized societal norms, how, for example, leave silent most of whom are not white, male, heterosexual, patriotic, or rich. Values from entertainment discourses bridge the abyss between school and family life experiences. They fill the gap. In regards to the school discourse, um, this informs an individual or collective by showing them what quote-unquote official history is. They provide them textbooks to teach them in a doxa type of way. Uh, they also tell them how to be proper within a culture, so, you know, cultural literacy. And they also show them how proof is obtained by authority, i.e. depending upon people behind them. The school institution informs a person or community of whatever history is approved by local and national society.